Hey, Mr. Clash here, and today I want to have a look at the ideal hog pathing for Town Hall 9. Now, it's something that I do cover every time I do a hog attack, but I don't specifically talk about it. And today I want to specifically talk about it, and uh, that is relation to the center of the base and the hog pathing around the center of the base. So we're going to call this the center of the base. We'll call it the core. Uh, that's normally what you'd be calling this little section in here. Now you've seen that when I've talked about hog pathing, about drawing these little lines for your hogs to follow. So you've got a rough idea on where hogs can go to. Now you've just seen this this one here, and this one's really important. And I've talked about uh, the idea that if you can have the hogs not split up at all, then that's really the ideal sort of a thing. Right now, you've just seen how here I'd call this a split up point where the hogs are able to come this way and start coming over. So if you have half of your hogs in in this regard, so even we're just going to follow the hog pathing from all the weapons around the place here. So just to see roughly where they can or where the hogs can all go to. And OK, so over here then from here to there. And depending on what side, they could also go there. OK, so you can see here that we've pretty well just drawn lines from each weapon to where we know weapons. Like if there's a Tesla, we can put a Tesla in there, obviously, and then we can start drawing lines to Teslas and so on. Uh, but in terms of where the hogs can go, what we're noticing here is this section here can be a split off. In other words, if hogs were came in from here some can go here and then from here some would go there and some could go this way and if you come in from down this top side here you can see this y shape some will go this way and some will keep on traveling down now the issue with that is if you're trying to heal them and half your hogs go this way and half go this way then you have to make a decision where you're going to do the heal uh, you've only got two heal spells in this particular attack. You've only got two heal spells. So which group of hogs are you going to heal? You have to choose one. Now, the rule of choosing one group of hogs is whichever group you choose is probably going to be the wrong group and you should have chosen a different group. So in terms of doing this before you start to launch your attack shows you that this is a, a point here. OK, so. We know that any hogs from here are likely to split this way and this way first. Because remember, they'll be bunching up here. If they've come in from this angle, they'll be sort of bunching around there. So half will go that way, half will go this way. And then once they're bunched around here, some will go that way and some will go this way. And this becomes that split off point where your hogs start going in two different directions. So we, we have identified that as one spot. So how we can remove this spot is if there is nothing here in the core for the hogs to path this way at all. If there's nothing there to attract them, that's the idea, if there's nothing there. Which means if you wiped out the core, so this is all gone now. So we'll just imagine that's gone. Now you can see when you, you start drawing these little lines, that um, there is no reason to come into the middle. And all they will do is start to path around naturally in the in this direction. And of course, you've got some over here and they come back. And th then these ones will be going like this. Uh, these ones will go that way. So you're just starting to have a, a little idea of roughly where these hogs are going to be going to. And now you can see that there's this nice little horseshoe shape here of the hogs pathing. And now if you take out a section of that, so it doesn't matter which section, but if you're trying to get to the queen, you have to come in over this side at some, some way. But if you took out a section of this base, let's just call that section gone. And you've seen me talk about this, where you're taking out a quarter of the base with your kill squad. That's all gone. Now you have this nice little section and it's like a little hog roadway around the middle. 
once you take out this section you're also starting to take out that core but you can see that if you drop hogs from this side that this area here or this if you can take this out then once they jump onto here they have to come back in so they won't path across so that we're going to be looking for things like that uh, in the war attack so let's have a look at, at this now now it's a lot of explanation but i see a lot of mistakes getting done with hog pathing and this is one of the things to just really pay attention to with your hog pathing take the time i know that you might be in a rush and things like that but actually take the time and sit there and just uh, even if you all you do is have your finger above the screen and you just sort of draw imaginary lines you don't have to download software like i have done but anyway so let's have a look at this attack and then you'll see how that pathing worked in favor of the attacker so first golem's gone down wizards have gone down to take out the uh, trash and then the mortar second wizard's gone down you've got a bit of a baby dragon to help get the process started quicker remember you don't always have to have a baby dragon test nice little test wall breaker on the right hand side other wall breakers coming through you can sometimes use a wizard if you don't want to uh, do a baby dragon so nice lot of wizards two clean up wizards left jump spells gone down now you can see that the bowlers will path down towards this way and if they get too aggro they will jump over there as well so this whole section of the base is getting taken out teslas are popped now this was a fresh hit so no one knew where that the uh, ragnar didn't know where the teslas or anything were so now the queen's in now here come the hogs now this air defense uh, this sweeper is still up but you can see how the hogs are coming in from the different angle trying to attack this area here could have double bomb could have a hog killer in it approaching the hogs from different angles wouldn't have mattered so those bombs went off at different times the queen's taken out this bit in the middle here and nothing can path around so the way that the hogs have come in come in from here and here and here you can see that they were never going to split up and therefore got the benefit of both of the heels fully extra second poison spell for the skellies and that's it game over so clean up wizard at the top we'll just i'll speed this up to the end we're going to watch this again and then i want to show you another attack uh it's also a three-star attack um but i want to it will show you about what i'm talking about about hogs splitting up so we'll have a look at this one again now that you know what's going to go on Wizards down, clearing up the trash, clearing up the trash. Now it's an excellent funnel in this one because getting bowlers to go in to a corner is notoriously hard. So we'll just slow this down a little bit. So you can see there was no way they were going to path around elsewhere at all. So nice little jump spell, going to get things pathing down. Keep an eye on what the queen's doing. She's backing up the bowlers, shooting things, shooting things. Wizards are still running around the outside. Plenty of Tesla, little Tesla farm there at the bottom. Rage the king nice and early. For me, I'm a early rager of the king not when he's full health but when i see that he's going down i don't wait for him to get to a tenth of his health before raging him because often he won't survive the full length of his iron fist ability so if he 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 has lost about a quarter of his health and the thing that's shooting him is still up i'm raging the king because that way not only is he raged but all of his barbs are raged and they're raged for the full length of time of the Iron Fist ability. So I, I don't miss out on much Iron Fist ability at all. Okay, so you just saw again how once this whole quadrant here had been taken out, that it just created this nice little lovely path for the hogs to go around and they weren't going to be able to go anywhere else. Okay, now we're going to have a look at another base and another attack on another base. It is a three star. Uh, and you're going to sh see the thing with the hogs that I'm talking about. So, okay, let's just go have a look at that one. Okay, we're here at this other one. I won't press play just yet. Uh, but what I want to do is just we're going to draw on the screen. We're just going to draw a few little lines, uh, depending on... We're, we're going to assume that everything is still up. So we'll just follow some lines roughly so that we can see uh, where defense, where hogs might be going to. Uh, okay, so we've got from there, they'll come in that way. Um, okay, from here. These are the sort of pathings that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, that'll go to there and there. Uh, and these three are all sort of linked. 
So what we're looking what we're looking for here is uh, just links between weapons and um, any anything that might be detrimental to our hog. So the, one of the things that stands out um, here is this section here. So depending on how things come down, so I can see that something comes from here, say it comes onto this side of the expo and it might want to come down onto this air defense and so I'm stuck with this sort of thing um, and now I'm pathing this way or I'll go expo wizard archer and then when I'm on the archer I might start pathing this way and then this way as well now once if that happens and this goes down then the next thing for these hogs will be coming down this way so this is what this is sort of revealed just drawing the little line shows me that I do have an issue around here and possibly here as well so if I came in from here I'm going to get hogs possibly going in both directions from there and you can see how this is a thing if you come in depending on the angle if you're coming in from here as well Hogs can hit this air defense, then some will go to this cannon, then some will go. So these are something to keep in mind here. So in terms of a general hog attack, keep this in mind. I've just drawn lines of connected all the weapons so that we can see the rough idea of hogs pathing uh, from that sort of thing. If you wanted to, you can then just go, well, OK, well, what if I can get the heroes to take out this? What will that do? Well, you can see this air defense is still causing an issue as far as pathing around. So if you can at least get rid of that, then anything here has to follow this sort of path. Anyway, that's what I'm the sort of thing I want to show you. Also, uh, do pay attention. Don't put flags in the middle of your base ever, please. It just lets you know there are no big bombs or Teslas there. So let's have a look at this attack and we'll see how it went. Now, I've already let the cat out of the bag in terms of that. Uh, we're having a look here because we're going to be dealing with splitting hogs and choosing. And this was a fresh hit too, by the way. So uh, the location of the Teslas was not known. Okay, jump spoil's gone down early. Now, uh, one of the other things that I do sometimes see as well is uh, very, very, very delayed jump spells. So do check out the length of time that the jump spell will stay active for you. And then factor that in. And that is, if I can put it down early and it gives me a chance to concentrate on other things, then the jump spell can go down early. So usually that's going to be like a an attack where you're going to use two jump spells. So here we've got the hogs coming in now. Okay, so Expo is going to go down. Wizard Tower is going to go down. Yeah, okay, Wizard's gone down, so here's the heal spell. All right, so I'm just going to have a pause here for a second. Wizard's down and, okay, Air Sweeper. All right, let's just pause it there. Now, having a look at this air sweeper, uh, I can see a large group of hogs is going to go this way, and some hogs on this side will start to path down this way. So this looks like what I, when I had the little lines drawn around there, that something here had to go down, and to stop the hogs from pathing in two directions. Okay, so that's there we go. They've pathed in two directions because they sort of wrap around the building a little bit when they attack the building. And that's what's caused them. So you had to make a decision, which hogs am I going to heal? These ones were basically facing three point defense. There were two point defense up here at that time. I mean, there was the cannon and the, the archer as well. But um, in terms, this had a king down here. So this was a good choice to heal down here. This had more hogs, I think, but this had um, a lot more threats. Otherwise, these hogs possibly would not have taken out the weapons. And of course, the king bowlers, uh, the King, Queen, bowlers and, and whatnot down the bottom here take out the enemy king. So uh, no problem there. So again, it's a three-star attack. But I just wanted to reiterate the the whole, uh, let's say, crux of the matter with doing Town Hall 9 Hogs and to try and get that pathing is just specifically when you're having a look at the base and you're having a look at a possible entry point to take out the Queen and the CC, if you're just doing plain Go-Ho or a Go-Bo-Ho like this, then have a look, draw the little lines and see if you're going to encounter any issues that could cause hogs to split up and path around because that might mean you're going to have to split up your heal spells and uh, or ignore one set of hogs over the other and then that could cost you a three-star attack. 
So anyway, let's get to the question of the day here. So you know King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, Sir Galahad, Sir Lancelot, and so on. Well, they had one of the knights, and he was like a little bit of a scaredy cat. So every time they went into battle, he, he kept wanting to give up all the time. They had it, the battle would only just start and he'd be like, he'd be like Jar Jar Binks, me give up, me give up. So, you know, you had Sir Lancelot, Sir Galahad and things like that. What was that knight's name? That's the question of the day. What is the name of the knight who always wanted to give up instead of fight on? What was his name? His name was Sir Render. <laughs> Surrender. Anyway, that's it today for today's video. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Do leave the video a thumb up. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.